Hello and welcome to Training with Judah Vanderlife. My name is Precious Tripodi and I'll run with you the highlights of today's trend. And uh, training on Twitter, we have hashtag Joe Alba, hashtag Dangote, hashtag NSARS, hashtag Rahama Sadao, and stories on Instagram. Uh, we're looking at uh, what uh, the people in Nigeria uh, housemates have to say uh, after the house, and that's from Kaisha and Erica and also a socialized Sharon Godwin gives relationship advice that uh, you find out after this break we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And if you're just joining, it's still trending issues. Let's find out why Joe is trending. And uh, Joe Alba, Dr. Joe Alba, is trending. And he put up uh, some tweets. And I'll take the tweet. Uh, his tweet says, uh, It is such a pity that the hashtag NSARS movement that I have supported since 2017, and which was a movement for police reform and better governance for all, was hijacked into inexcusable arson looting, tuggery, a criminality and political APC, PDP, Che Canary, totally condemnable. And he further says uh, the hashtag NSAS protesters uh, demanding better policing and good governance were peaceful. Uh, they even swept up after themselves. Uh, those that committed arson, looting and mayhem were very different. They had their own agenda and it wasn't police reform or good governance. And he also highlighted the meaning of the word hijack. But then let's see what people are saying concerning the tweets that he put out. And uh, this is from Andy. He says, reminder that people like Dr. Joe Alba are intentionally using the word, wrong word hijacked to describe what the talks paid by the same government that pays them did attack. Also says, when are the passengers of a hijacked plane are punished along with the hijackers? And uh, this is from King Timmy saying that uh, Joe Alba is a renowned author of Confucian. He dropped a long and boring thread in a well articulated manner, packaged with jaw breaking vocabs to dazzle his fans. Uh, what does it take us for a beg? Well, you know, there are different factions of people who have their agreements and disagreements in what he said. And like we always say, a lot of people are entitled to their own personal opinion. And this is from Sami Desh. She says, uh, Joe Alba isn't a fencist. Uh, he has always belonged on the side of our oppressors. And um, uh, this is from your dad. He also tweeted, says, uh, who made you hashtag insas uh, spokesman? And why are you speaking on it with misleading language? Uh, what did you do to support the peaceful protests? Did you join them, uh, lead them, fund them? We are not an ally. Stop speaking on hashtag insas. And away from Ash again, sir, let's go straight to uh, uh, Dan Gute. And uh, we have JJ Mojua. I, he posted and he said uh, that the borders remain short to every other business. Uh, by the way, federal government exempts uh, Dangote from border closure, and everybody's talking. I mean, the borders have been closed for a long time now, and uh, Dangote, uh, the brand itself, seems to be exempted. And let's see what people think about it. And um, this one is from uh, this one is from Aramide. Uh, YBN of saying it's only Nollywood Yoruba movies that will portray cast as Dangote's daughter with sponge bob hair, tattered clothes, and poor communication skills. So it's Dangote training, so different people post different things. And this is from Ayo Shogun, which says that the federal government uh, manipulates the economy to favor people like Dangote uh, repeatedly because legally he has power to control uh, major sectors of the economy while citizens have, have rights only outside the major sector. Uh, you know, people are still responding to the fact that, uh, you know, Dangote has been exempted from, you know, border closure. And this one is from Williams. He says that food inflation caused by border closure has Nigerians looting warehouses. 
uh, but Nigeria is an animal farm. Some people are more equal than some. Uh, Dangote cement is more important than the life of a hungry Nigerian. And yes, you know, when you look at it to an extent, you see that, uh, you know, a lot of things have increased. I mean, just about uh, last week or so, but a lot of people were talking about the price of onion in the market. That you can, you just buy one small bulb of onion for 100 naira. It's not even funny. I mean, people are now, you know, so before people would say they eat three square meals, now some have reduced it to two and some just one. And some, you know, it's maybe you, you do dry fast and then you think of when next you have your next meal. So it's, it's a very huge burden on Nigerians. And you know, the fact that there's no food, you know, people are hungry everywhere you look around. There are people who are begging you, not even for money again, just for food to eat, and it's really sad. And you know, people on Twitter are angry at the fact that uh, the federal government is opening uh, the borders for Dangote, Dangote to do business, and they're not opening the borders for Nigerians to be able to have food. And it's a very uh, sad one. Then let's look at um, the hashtag in SARS process and. Uh, it's, it's been trending since yesterday came back up on uh on trend number four yesterday and still trending uh today people are talking about uh most of the things that's happened uh after the, the last judicial panel and everything that's been going on with the protest and uh with the, the protest that happened before also uh we'll take some few tweets of what some persons are saying on the hashtag answers protest now it turns out that uh, someone was arrested and uh, that's uh, this one is from uh, Chlorofen Chlorofen Ramine, and he says, uh, "Good morning, uh, Godwin Emifele. Uh, your son had enough food to eat. I ate just once yesterday. Your son is sleeping in his room. I am begging my landlord not to throw my things out. Your son has pocket money. I have pocket drought. Supporting hashtag NSAS isn't a crime. On freeze my account." Okay, so the, I think this one looks, this is one of uh, the victims of uh, frozen account. And uh, this is from Kevin Shikau Odan. He says, be very scared of anyone who tries to tell you uh, that the hashtag NSAS protest was hijacked. They, ha they are gov government mouthpieces. Uh, no protest was hijacked. The government used uh, talks to chase protesters out of the streets, declared curfews. And handed the streets over to said talks, and uh, that's not a hijack. And um, Dr. Joe Claire's, uh, he said it's important to have clarity on the issue of I hashtag insults because of so many people are modeling up so many different issues. And he says, number one, the hashtag insults protest was concerned with better policing, better governance, and a better country. Also, he said that we managed to annoy both political camps. You're likely to be telling them an uncomfortable truth. Uh, the issue is police reform and better governance. Those issues have been with us for 60 years. Dragging will not make it go away. We must return to the issue raised by hashtag NSARS. Uh, this one is from Dr. Pam Pam. He says, it's time the government actually realized that the youth are legit tired of their daily lives and we are awake now. Uh, it is annoying to think that they don't, they don't only reach us, they think the hashtag NSARS protest is another hashtag occupying Nigeria campaign that brought them into power. And uh, this one is from Sandra Isaacwesini. She says, uh, it is inaccurate to say uh, the hashtag NSAS protests were hijacked by hoodlums. Uh, the protests weren't hijacked. The protest was attacked uh, first by security agents and then by hoodlums. Uh, yes, the distinction is important. Uh, words matter. That's why they are desperately throwing it around. Uh, so that's what she's saying. There's a lot of people uh, speaking on that. But then let's move away from the hashtag in South Africa and talk about uh, Rahama Sadao. And uh, Rahama is trending. And what's important about Rahama? Well, it looks like uh, she put on an outfit that uh, was not received well by her, her, you know, Islamic community. And she's been under fire for it. And, you know, there's been the allegations that she's under uh you know she's on that she's going to face a death sentence rather and uh, this is from shola rahama sadao faces death sentence for looking beautiful in a smart gown death sentence for showing off her body her own body i remember people haven't seen the light yet slavery at its peak and uh, it turns out that she wore a revealing gown where her back was showing and it has not been well accepted 
Well, uh, this is from a Apro Apro doctor. He says, uh, who has heard from Rahama Sadao? Is she being detained? Can she speak freely to the press? What's going on? Uh, this is from Tony Tone. Say, Rahama Sadao is an actress from Northern Nigeria. Uh, last week, she posted a photo wearing a backless gown. She has since faced online abuse, uh, been suspended from working, and is expected to appear in a Sharia court where she will face a death sentence all because of a dress. That's how you have it on Twitter. And uh, this is from Dr. Dikwa Awujide. He says, uh, Rahama Sadao case and the destruction of crates of years are uh, mere distraction from the hashtag NSAS issue. Watch out, they will throw, throw in more issues to distract people from the hashtag NSAS conversation and questions. And this is all things that's been happening on her case. She has actually you know, posted a video of herself where she was apologizing. She was literally in tears, but you know, well, I don't know. I hope that uh, the right authorities will listen to her plea because uh, she's been begging and saying she's sorry she didn't mean to hurt anybody. But away from uh, Twitter, let's move to Instagram. And this is from uh, socialite uh, Sharon Godwin. She has something to say. And she says, You die single if you're afraid of destroying other people's relationship. Hmm, can you imagine? Advice. And she says, uh, Don't pity anybody. Snatch and resnatch until you settle. Uh, remember your first heartbreak, how your boyfriend girlfriend was taken, how you felt. The game doesn't pity you, so don't pity anybody. Be ruthless. Hmm. You can imagine that kind of advice. Someone telling you snatch. You know, it reminds me of a popular artist who sang, "Even your boo get the boo." You know, but this time around, it's not even your boo getting the boo. It's the fact that they're advising you to take other people's boo until you have secured one for yourself. But then I don't think this advice a lot of people would, you know. Go around with you so just tell us what you think in the comment section of what uh, sharon godwin has to say and away from that let's look at kaisha omar she was uh, uh the past uh big brother nigeria housemates and she has something to say and she's telling us to take note and she says i am unstoppable i am born to win and shine some people are trying so hard to block their own way and thinking that they are blocking my sorry now on her name uh, because the God I serve is always by my side. But how are people waiting say that if you bring me down? Enemy of progress everywhere. We wonder who Kaisha is shading. We really wonder who she's shading. But let's see people's comments. And this is from Akila Paul. He says that you want your governor to notice you. Uh-uh, calm down now, guy. You know, apparently some of the big brother housemates have been getting uh deals like uh you know positions from their state respectively we have the likes of nengi you know we have the likes of a uh, tricky tea and as a result of that you know some people are thinking that these some housemates are not you know taking like likely you know they wish they were the ones but then you never know the minds of these people they also have good intentions too so it's not necessary that every time someone puts out a post it's because they're trying to shade somebody but just because of how they feel at that point in time uh this is from obdk it says why do they always believe that there is an enemy after them well that's the question you know they always think that there's someone who is really after them but sometimes it might not be it might be because of how they are feeling at that point in time uh if they feel like uh if they are feeling worse at the moment they will post what whatever they are feeling at that point in time and then away from kaisha let's take erica and Erica has something to say. Erica has really gone through a lot uh, coming out of the house, being disqualified. Some people have not been able to forgive her for being disqualified. And some people have still been, you know, holding on to the fact that, oh, Erica did this and that in the house. But come on now. I mean, we this life is what we're all going to try to live. And you only live and experience and make mistakes and correct yourself. It's a journey. Uh, there's no need for you to uh, basically be attacking someone. But let's see what Erica basically has to say. And she says, I wonder why I haven't had issues with people I've known before uh, the house, but can't say the same for people I met after. Uh, they all have one thing in common, selfish interest. I run from those people. And she says that I'm not going to be your perfect celebrity all the time. I'm just a regular girl. I say what's on my mind. And I, it doesn't have to be because of any drama. If you put too much pressure to be perfect on a human being, uh, they will be stressed. I just want to tweet like a normal person. So please be guided. Uh, now I'm 100% sure I need a vacation on an island and with no phones. 
I understand how she feels. You know, when you are constantly in the face of people, uh, people are always talking to you, or people are always attacking you and uh, telling you stuff that you're doing and what they think you're not doing well. Uh, you buy a one million address, they're complaining. You buy a 15 address, they're complaining. And, you know, it's, it's still the life of, it's, these are the things that you experience when you become a celebrity. You know, people want to always talk about you at every point in time. But, uh, you know, uh, baby girl, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, trust me. And that's all I can take on trending issues on Manga Life. My name is uh, Precious Chocolate. Remember to equally like, share, and subscribe on all our social media platforms sharing on your screen, as well as you can go on our website to check on our website. That's www.vangardngr.com. Uh, till I come with me next time, thank you for watching.